Welcome to the Joe Mother Secondary School, Kuba FCT. I am Amadi Mavis, and I'm here today to speak about the girl child. Basically, the girl child is just a female gender, and um, I would like to say some things that actually make the girl child peculiar. First of all, the girl child has more retentive memory than the male child. Secondly, statistics show that the, male, the female child, 60% um, of children actually that are intelligent, inherited, inherited this from their mothers. Also, I also like us to highlight a point about the fact that 70% of the earth's surface is covered with water and we have the remaining 30%. Now, 16% of this 30% is owned by the late Queen Elizabeth. You can go and check that. Now, um, speaking away from that today, I'm here with the Joe Model Secondary School Congress, Abu Bakr Anissa, Thomas Eloho, Noah Faith, and Nicholas Morgan. I will be speaking about gender inequality in our society today. Okay, so good afternoon. How are you guys doing today? I'm fine. And okay, um, first of all, let's start with um, gender inequality or gender equality first. What can we say is gender equality? Faith, can you help us with that? Gender equality, this is a topic that is very large and cannot be fully covered in a day. Gender equality is a very large topic and I would like to talk briefly on that. Gender equality, this means treating the male child and the female child equal, making them aware that they are both equal and they can do whatever the other can do. So, make many people in society, especially those in the rural areas, believe that what the female can do, the male can also do. But what the male can do, the female cannot do. But this is a very, very wrong myth. If you look at it from a very right angle, you notice that what the female child can do, the male can do, and what the male can do, the female can also do. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much, please. And, and hello, she said something about what the female can do, the male can also do it, right? Okay, so like can you mention like some of those things that you feel like okay the female child can do? The female child, they are not just limited to house chores and the kitchen alone. There are also other prospects that they can also venture into in which males also dominate in. For example, take sports, for example, now currently in the world, they have shown the parts where women are not allowed to do sports because there was a time women weren't allowed to do sports that allowing them to do sports will give them more confidence. And maybe like trying to take over but now women are encouraged in sports other activities um physical activities that include brawl and physical force but before which was shown on women but now women can also be allowed to do those because compare comparison between the two shows that they are equal and no thank you so much you know how i like that and um, okay so let's talk about Gender inequality, right? So like, can you tell us what do you understand by gender inequality? Gender inequality is when you treat a child or specifically a male child like he's better than the female or you treat the female child like she's less than the male. There are, in some certain countries now, some, there are some places that the female child are being restricted to doing that is gender inequality and the male child uh, they are allowed to do those without any quality but if you tell if someone advises the female child to go to those the people of the land will attack the person and be like what you said what you tell that cause gender inequality are usually caused by cultural beliefs and traditional prospects. So due to the old ways of thinking, they usually put too much force on female gender. Like for example, female gender mutilation, because they circumcise boys, they actually think that the circumcision of female is actually good. Women can cause infections and other things like that. But these cultural practices 
And in some parts of the world, they have been looking for ways to put an end to the inequality between male and female by, by government reforms and educating them on what to do with female gender and what not to do with them. Okay, thank you so much, Elomo, for that. And now, moving to you, Alisa, this is my first, first question for you today. And what can you say are the causes of female and gender inequality? What are the causes? Okay. So there are many causes of male gender inequality. So the first one is that the women are not aware of their rights as women. Like for example, in when it comes to the politics, I think that when some women want to contest for election, like because of they cannot stand for their rights. positions to be able to help the country because like they say the future is feminine so you can you can always remind them that they can be they can be whatever they want and they should not let anyone restrict them of what they want to be. Okay, thank you so much for that. And Faith, what do you have to say are the solution? Thank you. So I have just one solution for this. We should shun all the people who make these women feel like they cannot be whatever they want to be. Starting from the family, the family should put in this effort to know that to let the girl child know that yes, yeah, she can be whatever she wants to be, and making her to be aware that of the fact that nobody can shun her and stop her from being what she wants to be because she's just equal to the male child. Thank, Thank you. you so much, Faith. And hello, what do you have to say? I, that the government has a major role to play in the education of the girl child on their rights and what they can do and what they can do. So the government has to educate the upcoming fem educate the upcoming feminine generation on their rights and what they are able to do and what they are not and not on what they are not able to do. And we should educate them not on comparison with the male but equally among the two genders. Okay, thank you so much Elongo and finally to Anissa, what can you say is the solution to female and gender inequality? So I feel like the solution to female gender inequality is by making the women like the women to talk to love, like letting the women, the women mentor the women in the sense that like when a woman knows her rights and is able to speak for herself, I think she should help to talk to the to the, to the opposite gender, not because of the same man he has to like make himself superior over her. That of like they are equal, no matter of them. So I feel like women should talk to men to let them learn and understand that everyone is equal. Thank you so much, Alice. Okay, what a man can do, a woman can do better. Our time is now, our rights, our future. Let's join hands to stop gender inequality in our society. Bye for now.